Okay, so um, yeah, today we are going to talk about uh, automation and digitalization in, in previous uh, events. I was talking more specifically about uh, system integration and artificial intelligence uh, as part of the one of the digital trends. But today is more on the on the bigger picture. Uh, how we look at um, automation? It is clear that we need to systematize uh, the framework to effectively implement automation. Uh, for us, uh, we clearly realize that it's part of the future, not only for TIL, but also for the MSC group. Um, but the introduction of automation involves uh, many changes, uh, which uh, we need to incorporate, and we are incorporating in our, in our terminals uh, business models. It's really different to manage an automated terminal. It's not only about uh, putting technology and, and making it work. Uh, then, um, 20 years ago, or 20 years ago, I was uh, just out of the university, but uh, I started working in ports at that time, uh, more on technology. But the moment that during my PhD, I got into container shipping and, and terminal operations, I was still looking too much into the physical flows and too much into the cables, too much into the nitty gritty details of making things work with the technology we have at that time. Um, after that, I was lucky to join a software company, Navis, in, in US and, and being part of the product development. But a big change, in, especially in the last 10 years, is that digitalization is coming hand in hand uh, with, uh, with automation. Technology is more accessible, easy to implement, but also the, the way we conceptualize the terminal is really focused on processes, data, systems as the core foundation for making automation uh, function properly. Then for us, uh, digitalization and the transformation of the different uh, business transactions into some kind of single process platform is, is really a prerequisite for, for automation, but in general to, for, for any modernization plan in any terminal. And then of course, on why implementing automation, uh, besides the, the business case uh, reasons, uh, we have a strong push for sustainability safety and security at terminals. Uh, and those are important and, and normally we don't emphasize enough how important those are. For us, uh, building blocks or components that we focus on uh, with iterations across the terminal design, uh, procurement, uh, implementation, testing, fine tuning, et cetera, et cetera, are uh, processes, systems, data. Now that is more and more important and the workforce, of course. We cannot uh, forget the people when we implement automation. Then uh, on how to do that, uh, we are trying to get as um, modular as possible in terms of how we engineer the terminal. Uh, that means uh, considering the terminal as a system of systems or integrated uh, modules, okay, that will allow us to simplify the design and have a more predictable outcome from the design. That is really connected to requirements and specification for each of the modules. The flexibility also that uh, we need to evaluate the different option for the different uh, models for the key crane, the different models for the yard crane, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and very important, especially as our side uh, and data side, uh, we need to identify the integration and, and local requirements up front because normally those are uh, producing uh, a huge uh, impact on the, on the solution quality, but also on the time to value. Then uh, getting back to, to my statement uh, at the beginning. So nowadays uh, with the current uh, uh, maturity that we have uh, and the current focus and emphasis on, on digitalization, digitalization is becoming a, a prerequisite for automation. It's really the oil that uh, will make automation to function properly. Just, uh, it, it has to establish a, a core foundation for, for automation. And that, of course, is on the data models and the semantics, very important, uh, that need to be aligned with the solution suppliers. Uh, on that path, there are many standardization uh, initiatives that are uh, uh, trying to improve the, the framework and the landscape that we have when implementing solutions. It's still too much into reinventing the wheel in every single project and still too much on, on not uh, leveraging enough let the lessons learned from other uh, projects. Then uh, more specifically, uh, the interfaces and the interaction between the different software applications. Uh, I, will, I will mention in a minute uh, what, what, what the landscape is, and what is the complexity that we are uh, facing. 
but uh, not only within the terminal and um, between the different modules, very relevant, especially for optimization, but also the connection with the port ecosystem. Connection with port management system, port community system, uh, platforms like TreadLens, uh, those are becoming very important requirements that we need to manage up from. And at the end is, is the connection of uh, how we use the data and how the intelligent functions can properly provide uh, optimization, user experience, and the simplification of that. Data analytics, of course, and in the future, uh, a broad approach of uh, artificial intelligence, leveraging, of course, all the uh, minor projects that we are doing with machine learning uh, more at equipment level and let's say micro level for some specific processes. So what I try to illustrate here is that uh, automation and digitalization, of course, they, they go hand in hand, but everything that digitalization has to provide as core foundation on data management, technical integration, connectivity, et cetera, et cetera, will be key to really be effective with process automation, equipment automation or robot robotization, and also very important decision automation. Then uh, regarding that complexity and also the interconnectivity, I try to illustrate here what is the, the terminal ecosystem uh, for automation really focus on the TOS, but uh, even more relevant than the TOS is the equipment control system, which is the piece that is connecting all the crane control systems into one single source of truth for uh, optimizing the dispatch and the execution of the different moves and also the connection with the fleet management system, positioning detection system, OCRs, crane maintenance management system, refer monitoring, et cetera, et cetera. And then of course the, the TOS uh, continue being very relevant, uh, not only for the connection and the choreography of the automation moves uh, with the ECS, but also for the connection with the, the carrier uh, today so far using a lot of EDI and we will continue doing so but the world is moving into digital platforms, uh, more focus on APIs and so on. But again, still EDI will continue to be very, very relevant and very important. And also the connection of, uh, let's say, applications that are still uh, in the boundaries of the terminal and the poor community, like uh, gate operating system, vehicle booking systems, which are becoming very important to manage congestion in the land side, but also in general to provide good visibility to our customers and the customer of our customers, okay? Uh, maybe to mention on the, on the water side, is, is becoming more and more important, uh, the connection and the support assistance to the carrier network optimization, okay? Uh, vessel rotation and paradigms like port call optimization or just-in-time vessel calls at port level. Of course, uh, the connection with feeder and shore sea shipping, Port services like pilot, moorings, uh, 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 towage, and so on, and of course cargo tracking. Uh, and the same applies to the to the land side, but also with a more and more uh, relevant focus on providing visibility to the to the end user of the supply chain. Then uh, my last remark uh, is on people, of course. Uh, I'm trying to illustrate with this diagram how we see the the control room experience or the control room workflow. It is clear that uh, a control room now is very different to what was uh, 20 years ago. Uh, we are moving into being a more process-driven organization, uh, but what it is clear is that uh, we need to evolve in terms of the qualifications and the roles and, and the many things. It's not that the people that we have uh, in the control rooms uh, so far are not useful. It's actually the opposite. We need to leverage the learning from them and the amazing experience they have. But uh, the more the container shipping will go on technology, the more uh, we'll continue being reliant on the human brain, okay? But we need to adapt, we need new roles, we need to take care of data, we need to take care of the algorithms that will be controlling and monitoring our operations. And uh, we also need to get prepared because we will have systems and algorithms that uh, will understand us better than what we do, okay? In terms of how we manage the operation, uh, and that will be, a dramatic change for us that has to be driven in an inclusive way. And then uh, last but not least, I think that uh, the evolution of certain uh, paradigms uh, in terms of the uh, connection between the carrier and the terminal, the terminal with the port community, the port authority itself, I think that will become very, very important. And we need to create those uh, evolutions for the relationship, but also the workforce frameworks uh, need to evolve. Of course, I am talking about the, the docker or the, or the labor side, but also everything else, okay? 
And uh, just to conclude, uh, uh, in terms of takeaways, uh, for us, it is clear the future, but uh, we, we really re realize and conclude uh, that we can implement automation only on top of a platform of operational excellence, and on that, digitalization is key. We need to transform and to break down the business silos into one operational backbone. That is really about the focus on processes, data models, APIs, et cetera, et cetera. Organization, of course, as well. Um, the terminal implementation is more complex now, and we have more technology, which is easier to use, but we need to much better integrate the different uh, engineering streams. Civil, equipment, IT, automation, process engineering, all those has to be coming together. And this is coming from design to optimization. So it's the whole uh, terminal development cycle. And uh, also, uh, I would like to emphasize on the need for standardized, standardized solutions, the focus on initiatives like the ones I mentioned, the DCSA and TIC 4.0, and the importance on having uh, these uh, operations and technical capabilities go hand in hand. And just the, the last bullet point, uh, for sure, that uh, the next wave of terminals will implement digitalization and automation hand in hand. And we will connect more and more uh, processes, systems, data, and, and workforce for creating a more uh, intelligent and more sustainable um, industry. That's it from my side. Uh, again, thank you very much for having me in, the, in this uh, panel. Mm -hmm.